Do you really need a mentor to invest in real estate? My name's Chris Crone with Limitless Wealth TV, and today I'm bringing on a special guest that has done a lot in real estate, and you get her perspective on what it's been like with and without a mentor. All right, so today we have this special privilege of talking to my dear friend, Annette Aldridge. When I call her a dear friend, it's because in the last couple of years, We've become fantastic friends, her family, my family. We actually just got back traveling from Costa Rica. We've traveled to Peru, Machu Picchu. We've been on quite a few amazing trips together. Yes, we have. But also an amazing adventure in real estate. And um, Annette started in real estate many years ago with her husband, Jeff, and uh, really long before we actually got connected. Mm -hmm. But tell us just a little bit about you. So you serve in the military, and tell us a little bit about that. I joined the military because of 9-11, and uh, it was a conscious choice to do something, to make something better in life. And my husband is, does construction, so he's a laborer like so many other hardworking people out there. But yet we wanted to own things. We wanted to have real estate. We know that that's a way that we can do more with our lives than just work for the money, spend the money, work for the money, spend the money. So we wanted to own we wanted to have rental properties, we wanted to flip, we wanted to, uh, we actually want to own a hotel chain. All right. <laughs> want to own a movie right theater. Right on, right on. <laughs> so we started this process. When we bought our first house, what we did is we actually bought two houses at the same time before the first one hit our credit. I don't think you can do that anymore. <laughs> but we did, we bought two houses. They were both uh, duplexes. And yet we didn't know how to buy and sell and we didn't know the right ways, but we did, because of my husband's construction, choose to buy houses that needed a little bit of love and a little bit of work. And you guys have been very do-it-yourself oriented, right? The whole time. Didn't really have mentors, never nope. participated in a real estate program. It was really just you versus the world and out there making it happen. Yes, and we did. We were. Which, by the way, I just want to just say something <laughs> for all of our YouTube friends out there that are watching this. Um, there's a lot of them that are kind of shy and timid and worried about what they need to get started. Will you just tell them to just go out and make it happen? You don't need anything. Well, I mean, you need to do something and want it. I've done so many things in my life where it's just because that's what I wanted, so I figured out something to do, which is what we did with buying those houses. We bought them, we fixed them up, we figured it out, and then we held on to them. But we ended up living with my mom so that we could hold on to them. Because there were things we didn't know. We didn't know what you do fix up and don't. We knew how. We yeah. knew how to put in the tile. We knew how to fix the doorway. We knew all those different kinds of things, but we didn't know the things that were giving us a better ROI, things that um, we should avoid, the people that we should and should not get in there. Well, and then you and I, we met each other like seven years ago. Yes. And then we... And we had rental properties when we met you. You had properties, and yet, even though we kind of got started, we kind of didn't. You still wanted yeah. to kind of try it on your own you before... You had to bring that up. <laughs> I, well, that's kind of like, I want people to know what's it been like doing it yourself, and what's it like when you actually got some professional help? Um, because there's a lot of us that try to go out there and do it without a mentor, and some of us can succeed. But there's a lot of us that put ourselves on a much slower track and once in a while even on a dangerous track without the help of someone that has a lot more experience. Can you just talk about that a little bit? Yes, actually. We were on a slower track, but we were on the only track that we knew how. We didn't know that there were even mentors really. We didn't know we had access to that. We didn't know what else we could do. We knew we could buy property. We knew we could fix it up. We knew we could rent it. We knew we could make money on it. And when we got some more money, we were gonna buy another property. But that's where we got stuck. We met him when we were at two properties plus the house we owned, and we'd been there for like mm, 10 years. Yeah. And we're like, okay, but we just can't get past this because we didn't have more money to buy and we couldn't get another property. Well, and. And then I think a lot of people get stuck in that where we can get a property or two, but the only way we're going to get more is just by working harder yes. and saving up money. And that is the eternal track. That's the slow track. Oh, That's the one where we, so it, it's so someday oriented and yet there's a much faster path. So what happened when we got involved to accelerate things? So when I met him, we actually bought into the program and I thought, well, I'm just going to keep him in my back pocket because now he's this smarty pants guy who's done it, who's smarty figured it pants. out. I am smart and I wear pants and I'm a guy. <laughs> so that's technically all true. I'm the smarty pants so guy. So it's true. He had made money in real estate, so I really wanted to know what he knew in case I needed it. But I wasn't really ready for it. I had mm, a little ego maybe. 
All right. Well, no, that's fair. That hey, that's pretty. We, all I mean, of us are giving you a round of applause and having some some cool uh, authenticity and openness <laughs> about that. And you went on for what five more years or what? what yeah. What? So we connected. We bought in. We learned a little bit. We went okay. We can continue. And we actually did buy another house and sell one house. And then we were still stuck at our glass ceiling, whatever that was. Mm. And so what we actually ended up doing was reconnecting with Chris five, seven years later. Yeah. And we went, oh, wait a second. He's made millions of dollars in the last seven years. We're in the same place the last seven years. Hmm. So we decided to listen a little bit more. We were actually in a really bad place. Because we had gotten a little bit of extra debt, we had used credit cards to to finance some of the fix-ups on our houses. We'd put people in our houses that hurt it, and so we had to spend money to get it fixed back up. We just really didn't know what to do, how to jump to the next level. And so when we were talking to Chris and his team about it, we were like, okay, please, this is what we have. We put all our cards on the table. I mean... I really actually had a bit of a hard time with it because like I said, I actually did have some ego. I mean, I'd invested, I'd done well, I'd made money. And so we put it out on the table like, okay, we have this and this and this. What would you do with it? How would you use our investments? Well, and I want to pause for a second because one of my favorite parts when people actually click on the link and say, hey, I want a game plan. I want to talk to someone on your team. That's what we did. We can't really promise the stars. We can't promise anything. But what we can do is put ourselves in your shoes and say, all right, um, creating wealth is just moving assets from low yields to high yields. What are you doing with your money? And are there inefficiencies? Are there things that you could be doing different? And that's really what a game plan is. And so we sat down. We did that. We had a chance to revisit. And what did that reveal for you? That, I just have to say, that was the best thing ever. Hmm. That was so cool because I didn't know what to do next. I knew I had stuff. I knew I could do stuff. I didn't really know what to do next. And and that game plan, it actually gave me some ideas. You guys sat down, looked at our stuff and says, well, you can do this or you can do this or you can do this. What do you want to do? And so we picked one, which was a more aggressive one. That's kind of more your nature. Made, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it made all the difference to where we are right now. Like we wouldn't be anywhere. We wouldn't have been traveling with you last week if we had not done what we did with you. If it had not been for your knowledge that took us past where we were stuck. Thank you. Let's talk about your last property you just bought. So you went in, even though you live in Utah, yes. you actually bought an out-of-state property. That's something that would terrify a lot of people. Um, but I know that you guys did your due diligence. You even got on the plane. Yes, we did. Um, but you got a fantastic deal that, what, what's the projected ROI on this home in Florida? Uh, I think it was 24%. Okay, so friends, an annual ROI of 24%. Yeah. You can do some basic math on that. 24 times four yeah. is essentially 100%. Um, this is one of our, that we, we have cash flow markets. That's what we call our growth market. And we tap into deals like this that we can get great deals on. And on that home, what's the cash flow on that one a month? That, the cash flow is just under $500. Okay, so you're, so you're, so you're just under $500 yeah. a month. Fantastic. Great cash flow, by the way, on a property. After, even the management fees, after all the expenses, after everything that we've, all the money we've put into it, we get that much each month. It's so cool. Wow, that is really awesome. Yes, it is. And tell me just a little bit about, you, you, you know, you guys actually, we, we, you never have to get on a plane to go check out these properties because we got boots on the ground and a team of 200 experts. But as you can probably tell, my friend here, Annette, she's pretty careful and, and she likes to be thorough. So you guys actually went out and checked out the property. Yes, What'd we you went, did a little vacation in Florida just because I consider myself a Doubting Thomas and I wanted to know that what he had on the ground was really what he said it was. No offense. That's okay. None, none taken. <laughs> and I was so impressed with the people that were, I was so impressed with the people that were there that I actually made a little uh, video that I posted online and I'm like, hey, these are the people we're going to invest with. And then this year we did. And it, that was the people that helped us to get the house. Wow. And I didn't even have to see the particular house that, that they did other than the pictures of it because I knew that what he had said was right. And what they had said was right. And so I was just like, where do I sign? Where do I sign? It was amazing. And when, when do you think you're going to do your next deal? Uh, I would do another one tomorrow. And, but when do you think it's time though? Like, do you have a, when, it, when in your game plan are you going to be buying your next property? Oh, in January. January. So January, just next month. Mm -hmm. So you'd go tomorrow, but you've got to wait 30 days. Yes. I'm so sorry. Yes. My heart goes out to you. Just play my <laughs> little fiddle here. <laughs> That's super exciting. It's exciting to be out there and to see it happening and to build your portfolio and to step into the right properties and to refresh it. And, you know, investing in real estate 
if you look at it over a 10 year period of time, you might only buy one or two houses now but a few years later, you can catapult that into more homes. And by the end of 10 years, you can grow that into a healthy portfolio of homes. For you, what is your biggest driving why on why you want a portfolio of real estate producing this residual income for you? What would it mean for you and your family? It means that I can bring my husband home from work. My husband works harder than anyone I know. He works in construction and he works cement in construction. Yeah, that's hard work. And he goes out of town to work to help us have more money. He works 14 hour days sometimes to help make us money. And I don't want him to have to do that so that we can benefit. I want to have him home with us so we can all benefit from his hard earned money. Wow, so some of the lessons that I'm extracting from this video is number one, having a mentor is really powerful, having a team. Very powerful. Because it's not just me as your mentor, it's this entire team of experts that can step in. Another principle is I can really tell from Annette that she has a, a reason that motivates her. And that's something that you're gonna need anytime you're doing anything in life that you're gonna need to stick with it power. If you, if you need to have that stick with it power, you need to know your big why behind it. But the other thing is that Annette is an action taker. Um, <laughs> even as the doubting Thomas and having that moment in her life, taking action meant instead of doing nothing, it meant getting on a plane and making it happen and, and interviewing the team and seeing what that was all about. And Annette, it's been awesome building a portfolio with you. And you know, if I had to look into your future over the next five, 10 years, I think you're gonna be owning a ton of real estate, just beginning, gonna be coming home from work, and it's gonna mean great things for your family. Oh, he won't be working anymore. Yeah. Awesome, well friends, thank you so much for joining us today. Annette, thank you so much for having like, coming out for today's video. Thank you, Chris. Are you ready for a mentor? Would you like to know what it looks like to have someone taking you by the hand and guiding you through the entire process? Click up here and learn about your real estate investing options right now. We'll show you how to do it just like Annette did.